what I eat in a day. It was a scam. Oh my god. I've been thinking about good times. To keep up all that filthy goodness. How do you know how much to cook, right? Good morning! Today I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day. And I'm going to be using my fitness channel to track everything. It's a free app. It's really easy to use, but I do find a lot of my clients like struggle with using it because they're not quite too sure how to use it kind of along the day. I'll be showing you how to use it along the day. So hopefully this helps you in using my fitness pal and being able to track your food. At the same time though, if you have struggled with food in the past, this is not the video for you to be watching. So please just click out, go watch something else. Not for you. But for everyone else that has can I speak today? Is this going to be an issue all day? You know what the issue is? I haven't eaten yet. Usually I eat at 6.30. It is now 10 past 7 and my brain cannot function. Hold up. You know what's crazy? There are 91.8% of you watching my videos, but I've not yet subscribed. What are you doing? Subscribing is free. And comment down below once you've subscribed and turned on notifications. Join the family as we're trying to hit 5k. Okay, thank you. Lots of love. Kiss kiss. I'm missing something. Hold on. I was missing my water. So we're gonna get started on breakfast, but before breakfast, I always drink water, like always. Grab my bottle and I fill it with filtered water. So there's 1.5 liters of water in here and I will aim to drink this before I go to the gym, like the whole of it. For breakfast today, we're gonna be a little bit fancy and this is the chocolate hazelnut pancake curry protein work. Now I already tried the summer fruits and it's absolutely delicious and the texture was perfect. Hopefully these are the same. And I'm gonna pair it with the protein sped white chocolate. Okay, you ready for some ASMR? Oh yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> okay, first thing we need to do is read the nutrition. On the side here, it says 80 grams. Now within this 80 grams, it has 268 calories. God, that's hard for me to read. 43 grams of carbs and 18 grams of protein and two grams of fat. On the side here on how to make it, it says 180 grams of plant milk, but then it says two large gray scoops. Hold up, wait a minute. I'm sorry for this angle right now, but I'm trying not to show what my hair looks like because that's for the next video and I look ridiculous right now and I don't want to show you. But basically, that's how they were going to get you, you know? Like it says up per serving, but wait, hold up. It's telling you to use two scoops. So you have to be careful when checking like the labels on things. Sorry, you're over here, but I'm looking at myself over here. But you have to be careful when checking the labels because it can be like, yeah, per serving, but then you're going to go ahead and use two scoops, but you're actually using two servings. So then it will be double the amount of calories and everything like that. So it just, yeah, you just need to be very, very careful. Okay, cool. So again, my fitness pal. At the moment, I am still in the calorie deficit of 1,900, but I've added 100 calories on because I'm going into maintenance calories. So I'll up it by 100 calories per week. So we're gonna scan in the food first. That's what's so nice about this, like, app. oh wait, my head's cut off. That's what's so nice about my fitness pal, the fact that you can just scan it in, it's like free. So you can just scan, do, 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 boop, and it's done. As you can see, 41 grams of carbs, 2.7 grams of fat, 18 grams. It's a couple off the fat. So it is what it is. Another thing to understand sometimes is on cereal packages, it'd be like, ah, oh, with milk, and then it gives them the nutrition value. Like it does it in the Weetabix one, hold up. Okay, it doesn't do it with this one, but with the protein Weetabix, it was a scam, that protein Weetabix, because they'll be like, oh yeah, per two biscuit with milk. So you have to really read the labels if it's with or without milk. Seeing as this doesn't say, with milk, I am assuming it's without the milk. We've got to make sure we also add the milk in when we do do our calculations when we do do. Oh my God, it smells so good. It just smells so chocolatey. And that is the texture I want personally. Mommy. Yes, Mia. Are you a unicorn? I'm gonna prepare the protein spread now. So I'm just gonna measure out 15 grams. Yeah, it's 6.1 grams of fat per 15 grams. So we're definitely gonna stick to the per serving. I actually love this so much. Oh, I was just about to lick it, but then I was like, no. It's such a bad habit of like licking it, but I may lick this little piece because it doesn't count, right? Mmm. I love Milky Way. Milky Way? Milky bars. You know like the long white bars basically. I always used to get them as a child. And <laughs> I don't know if you did, but what what oh, can't speak, I need food. But 
when I used to get those bars, I used to eat the border perfectly. And then I'd make it a mission to actually eat around the horse and the boy too. But yeah, I'm gonna measure up 15 grams. You wanna see me measure? And I'm pretty sure it's just a tablespoon that is 15 grams. That is how much chocolate I will be having today. <laughs> You could be my honeybee Can you give me something sweet? This thing you have could give me scars Straight to the heart And you feel like a Sunday breeze Singing birds and buzzing bees I played your song on my guitar The sweetest part also, if you find this pancake too dry, you can always use zero syrup. Zero fat, zero calories, zero carbs, zero protein, Mommy. just zero everything. Chuck some strawberries on here too. About 80 grams. And there you have breakfast. Yum, 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 yum. Obviously, this is just how it looks for like this presentation, taking pictures. I am gonna fuffle this up now. So it looks a little something like this. Mommy. Mia? You have your pancakes. These are mummy's ones. Don't give me that face. They're the same. <laughs> okay, let's try the chocolate ones because the chocolate ones I've never tried before, so. Good. Texture's so good as well. Mmm. My nose is running. I have no clue why my nose is running. I also didn't need to end up using the zero syrup, which is really, really good because the pancakes are just so like juicy they're really moist basically um, like the strawberry enhanced the juiciness so it didn't feel dry it's gonna be <laughs> mia please just no banging as you can see my breakfast has come to roughly 479 and i say roughly because this is not an exact measurement you can't really measure everything exactly down to a t so this is why you also shouldn't be like oh my god like i can't go over by 10 calories or 50 calories because it's okay you know and as you can see we're in the nutrient section my goal for protein is 142 grams of protein and i have 116 grams of protein left lovely you want to do the slime? Okay, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So far of protein, I've eaten 26 grams and I've got 116 left. For carbohydrates, I've eaten 60 grams and I've got 154 left. And for fats, I've eaten 15 grams and I'm allowed 38 grams of fat left. Before you try to come at me and be like, oh, this can't read. Like, literally, it's right in front of the screen and she's reading 116 when it says 170. Like, what? No, honey. My fitness power changes it slightly every day because you're not meant to have the exact same calories like every single day. So, yeah, that's not my bad reading. That's just... Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Because if I focus on the carbs, fats and protein within the day, I know I'll give or take hit my calories. Of cool, course, so I'm just going to take my... No. So this is the terrible twos, I think. Mummy just needs to film and tell them about my multivitamin. And then we can go, is that okay? Mummy, have a hug, please. Thank you. Love you. I also take the multivitamin from protein work. Now, I love gummies. Gummies, gummies, gummies. It just feels like I'm having sweets. Mm. My second favorite gummies from them are the vitamin D ones. They have like little drops of like lemon on the vitamin C tablet. I also take collagen gummies from my vitamin. And then there are some tablets that I do take as well, which is biotin, B12, calcium, as well as vegan glucosamine. I'm really happy right now. Like really happy. Like I feel like I have come so far with my editing and just yeah completely just out of context of this video. But I am editing my vlog which is gonna come out tomorrow, Thursday the 18th. So you would have seen it by now. And I just want to say like I basically finished my water. So if you have a desk job there's no reason for you not to drink water because I got this down like no tomorrow. It's currently 9.45. Yes you heard me. 9.45 and I've drunk 1.5 litres of water. We, I, well, I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna go have a protein shake, so let's go do that. Oh god, guys, guys, guys. 
I've never tried this flavour before. This is the Millionaire shortbread one. Is it shortbread? I don't know. But yeah, I've never tried this flavour before. It's another one I got recently. And I already love the strawberries and cream. So I'm sure I'm going to love this one too. So, cheers. Oh my god. If you love caramel, mmm. It tastes like shortbread -y. Wow, it's like dessert. Mm. So I've just added the vegan millionaire shortbread to my fitness pal and as you can see it's 109 calories and we are on track with everything as you can see my protein is way above now. Woo. You can take the protein shake with you to work. I don't know about you but like if I don't have food every two hours I get so hungry. I'm so hungry. Boom, it is time for lunch. I have already pre-made my lunch though on Sunday to make sure I can have it over the three days. So in here we got couscous and then we got the chicken in here scales so just gonna take a look at my fitness pal we're gonna start off with the carbohydrates i have 152 grams left i'm sorry for like all the lights in the background i am at my parents house so i kind of want to split it like 152 and a half i'm really bad at maths i am actually getting the calculator up 155 by 2 75 so we are gonna go for 60 grams as you can see we are currently on the nutrition page but we're gonna get off of that now and go into lunch we're gonna add food now we're gonna type in couscous and as you can see like the number of serving is 100 grams and I currently have 1.8 because that's what I ate the other day but we're going to change that to 2 serving size so that gives us 200 grams of carbs but it is 59 grams of carbohydrate obviously if I change it to like 1 then it's 29 see this is how easy it is to like adjust it on my fitness pal Now we're going to move on to the protein. So if we go back to the nutrition page, as you can see, I have 77 grams left. So yes, I'm going back onto the calculator. So it's half of 70, it's 30 something, 35, right? Divided by two, boom, see? I can be smart sometimes. So we actually want to just go for about 25 grams because I'm going to have a protein shake and then later I'm also going to have carbs. Uh, protein. Let's go for about 20. We're gonna go back into lunch. Type in chicken because I scanned in the fillets already. And like I said, I want 20 grams of protein. 25 grams, should I say. So I'm just going to adjust. As you can see, one portion of 100 grams still gives me 31 grams of protein. So we're just gonna go 0 0.8. Perfect. Boom. While we're here, just gonna add the aubergine, onions, mm, yum yum. While that's cooking, we're gonna pop in the onions. Yes, we are popping in the onions. We are popping in the aubergine. I'm actually gonna make myself some creatine as well. You wanna get the creatine monohydrate one. My camera's about to die, so I can't time lapse this, so. I just wanna do a very quick, very quick unboxing with you before my camera dies. I finished my food. I'm also gonna have a very quick peach as well, by the way. So this is from Gaines Kitchen, and they have kindly delivered me some food. Like, I'm actually quite excited. So they come pre-made beef ragu bolognese with garlic bread. Oh! Peppered steak with rice. Om yum yum. Thai beef stew. Yum yum yum. I can't wait to try these, like, thank you so much, Games Kitchen. Thank you. I also want to say, by using this code, you get 15% off of your order, too. So, yeah, if you can't be asked to, like, make your meals sometimes, then you are. Because it's got all the calories and macros here, too. Combining, like, fruity carbs with, like, carbs, like, pasta, couscous, rice, or anything, is, like, the perfect pre-workout before actually going to the gym, so. Mmm. -hmm just got back from the gym and it's so just dark and gloomy and I love it. Do you think I'm crazy because I love the rain? Well, every time I see the rain, I told myself like, okay, that's the universe telling me that I'm loved. So every time it rains, I see it as a positive thing and I can never get down from the rain. Also, also, I'm so proud of myself. I was doing weighted dips today. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go really dark now. Ready? <laughs> Anyways, I was doing weighted dips today and I managed to do 20 kg weighted dips. Yes, you heard right. 20 kg. I didn't record it. I was living in the moment, okay? But I am very super duper proud of myself. Oh, I'm not interactive as well. Super cute. I literally live in this. 30 grams. Poisons. Poisons. Swear. Cheers. 
I think get into the habit of either putting it in before or afterwards. Time to shower, get to some work, and then I will see you at dinner time. I just wanted to add very quickly that I have nearly drunk my three liters of water today, and it's basically four o'clock now, so. Okay, bye bye. I'm loving It's time for dinner. Let's go make some dinner. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay then. <laughs> I used to love doing this as a kid. So it is now 5 p.m. We're gonna go ahead and grab some beef. Again, it's the lowest fat and that is the 5%. With that, we're gonna add some mushrooms. For the sauce, it's a casual bolognese and it cut off a lot of fat by switching just to bolognese rather than red wine and bolognese sauce, which is delicious by the way. This pasta is like the best pasta to just like keep up all that saucy goodness. Oh yeah, okay. <gasps> Sorry, I had this down. I miss you in a bowl. Mm -hmm. You wanna say hi, Mom? Hi. Okay, before we begin anything, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna enter it into my fitness pal because it is the last meal of the day. So, gotta make sure we don't go over the calories, but we gotta make sure we hit our macros too. So, I've already cooked this one time by itself and then weighed it. So, I know that 250 grams when cooked weighs out to about 200 grams of minced beef. So, I'm gonna put into my dinner 100 grams because I'm gonna half this. Boom, done. And as you can see, I've basically hit my protein already. For the carbohydrates, oh, I didn't check how much we have left. Let's just go with maybe go for 1.9. Oh, 60 grams of carbs. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we've basically hit our carbs too. What is half of 350? 135? I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna run with it. You can just let me know if that's wrong in the comments. But I've got to start trusting myself. Boom, boom, boom. I need to start cooking because she's getting hungry too. So a little trick with the pasta, because I know you're probably sitting there thinking like, okay, girl, like, how do you know how much to cook, right? It took me a little while to learn too, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm having to crouch. I need a wide lens camera. I'm saving up for a wide lens. New camera. I'm gonna get the Sony one actually. Anyway, sorry, sidetracked. Salt. Just because you make pasta, if you make oba, and if it's enough to save for the next day, then save it for the next day. But if it's not, do not be afraid to chuck it away. I know there's like other people around the world like starving and stuff, and you feel like you may be wasting food, but then you also have to look after your health too. Don't overcook the pasta either, because if you overcook it, it holds more water. Because you have to weigh this out after you cook, because this is underneath typical values, it says cooked as per instruction. I used to measure this before cooking it. But when you cook the pasta, it weighs more after you cook it, whereas meat weighs less. Basically, I over ate a lot, a lot on my lean bowl though. I ended up putting on more weight than, than I intended to basically. And then when I was cutting, I wasn't actually cutting properly. I was actually in my maintenance calories because I wasn't measuring correctly. And this is what I'm trying to say, like we need to make sure we measure. Like after we cook this, I'm gonna measure it. Yeah. You see like there's a little circle bit here. I'm gonna measure out the olive oil on that. Okay, slowly. That's one tablespoon basically. So just gonna measure out the pasta now. Grab yourself a bowl, put it on the scales. Let's see if this amounts, wait, how much do I need again? Just had my phone. We need 190 grams. I used to like cook like really just plain chicken because well when it was in sauce I was like okay how can you really measure but I stopped being like kind of anal about the whole situation. Like I said I measured the mince before separately so now all I basically do is half one side, half the other side and yeah so that'll be one meal and that's another meal. Brazil. 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 I know it's not always easy. Time slows, still trying to find the reason. Told on to.
to those dreams out of my